any good piece of work that you produce for the writing exam will cover the topics that we have looked at this year, giving personal details, name, age, birthday, how old you are, where you live, um, how you're feeling. Second, school, where you've talked about the subjects you learnt, what you wear, what you ate or eat, what you drink, um, and giving opinions on those subjects in a variety of ways. Family, you are able to talk about my dad, my mum, and my rabbit, different minds, um, or minors. Um, parents, minor Elton, you're able to describe long, short hair, curly hair, all of that. So descriptions are a really important thing, actually, when it comes to later on in your language learning. Um, and finally, we've looked at hobbies and free time. We've looked at lots of different verbs, how those verbs might change depending on the person you're talking about. Using adverbs, um, using gan. Gan is a really powerful word and again is, is really important later on in your language learning. In terms of grammar or the types of structure you might want to use for your writing exam, obviously um, intensifiers, things like really, wirklich, sehr, very, ziemlich, quite, and then newer ones that perhaps we can adapt, um, always very, you pop them together, you've got immer sehr, um, you could use not very, nicht sehr, often, quite, oft, ziemlich. So look at the way perhaps you use some of those intensifiers and adverbs. Um, link words, a good piece of work, must have linking, aber, und and den. And for those of us who've recently been looking at word order, it's really important that you know that after these um, you must use word order one. And I'll show you that in a moment. Good piece of uh, work, um, won't always start with ich, 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 ich. You'll look at various ways of trying to change the subject of the sentence. So, ich habe eine Schwester und sie hat braune Haare. Meine Mutter ist sehr freundlich uh, und ist sehr dick. Okay, so just to try and change your pronouns around a bit. Um... Asking questions in German, a good piece of work might, you might slot a question in. Uh, giving opinions using adjectives, so you did that with school. Ich finde Mathe um, sehr schwierig, so some of the more difficult adjectives. You also did adjectives when you did your family as well, so you can describe the characteristics or personality. Um, mein Bruder ist... Total, new intensifier for you there. My brother is total, total faul and uh, wirklich nicht freundlich. Um, we've also looked at using gern. Now, gern is something really important. You must revise how to use that. So, gern goes after your verb. It goes with an ing word. It's what you like doing. It doesn't mean I like potatoes. You can't use it for that. It means I like eating potatoes, or even better, I like eating chocolate. So it goes, ich esse gern Schokolade. That's the order your words have to be in. Ich trinke nicht gern Wasser. And obviously using other adverbs, things like manchmal, oft, fast, nie, um, selten, zweimal in der Woche, they're really good as well. Now I'm going to show you how you might use some, maybe not all of that, in a piece of work. Excuse the scratching of the pen, there's nothing I can do about that. Okay, so if I am going to write in German, I'm probably going to start off by saying, hello, my name is... So, you can say Guten Tag, or you can say Hallo. Now, what's my name is? Well, actually, I remember what I am called is, and actually that is better German. So, we're going to say Ich heiße. Now, lots of people have problems with E-I, I-E, and it's an I sound. So, I know that it's E-I because the I comes second, and it's the second vowel that you hear. Also, 
Hallo, ich heiße Leila und ich, no, I am, ich bin zwölf Jahre alt. Okay, now I've used a link word, so that's good. And after that link word, I have used word order one. I don't swap my bin and my ich around. Also, ich heiße Leila und ich bin zwölf Jahre alt. Now, demonstrating that you can write about your birthday is actually really good. So I'm going to do that next. Ich, now, I remember the structure I need is I have on the day, month, uh, Geburtstag. So I have, ich habe... Uh, now, on the is am. Now, my birthday is on the 3rd of August. Now, I remember some of the rules about um, making the numbers into like third. And, but uh, third is actually a word on its own, so it's written. If you want to use yours, you need to check. Okay. Ich habe am 3. Uh, August. So, month next. Geburtstag. Now, I really should finish the sentence off here. Can I think of any way of linking it? Uh, I think I might just use a, another und again. Und, and I live in Berlin in England. Ich wohnst. Oh no, there's something wrong there. Can't be ich wohnst because after ich, my verb has to end with an E. So it must be ich wohne in Krober. Oh, no, I said Berlin. Let's change it to Berlin. Make it a bit more German. In Deutschland. So I've ticked my giving personal details section. The next thing I learned about was school. And I want to talk now about school. So what could I say as an introduction to school? I could say something like, I find school really great. Um, uh, that's actually, oh, that's not too bad, because I've learnt I find. I think I'm going to put this in a new paragraph. So, ich finde, now, a Schule is feminine, so it's going to be ich finde meine Schule. Uh, now, really great. I could use any kind of adjective at all. I'm going to show you a new one, actually. Prima, prima. Some of you might know that, actually. Uh, and I'm going to intensify that. I'm going to make it stronger than just fantastically brilliant. I'm going to say really great. Ich finde meine Schule wirklich prima. Now, um, I really should link here. Can I think about a link word I could use? Uh, how about because, my, my, because Mrs Noble is wonderful, then Frau Noble is now, I told you there's another te intensifier you can use earlier on. Total wunderbar. Okay. Now, um, I'm going to say what I learn at school. Um, we know learn is lerner. Ich lerne Mathe, English, uh, Kunst. I'm going to show you another word here. Und, so... Weiter. This is to avoid me giving a complete list. I'm using the word etc. You can also write it as USW, a bit like ETC in English. Ich lerne Mathe, Englisch, Kunst und so weiter. I'm going to say on Monday, period one, I have, oh, am Montag. Now, period one, what was period one? It's, oh, it's in der ersten Stunde. So, in the first lesson, am Montag in der ersten Stunde. Habe ich Mathe. So I have Maths, Monday, period one. And I'm going to say, Maths pleases me. Mathe gefällt mir. I'm going to say, but it is hard. Aber es is. Oh yeah, I've got to put another intensifier in. Often quite hard. Es ist oft. Seemlich, now what was hard or difficult? Schwierig. Okay, 
Um, right, I could uh, go on about my uniform and things like that, um, but just for the purposes of this video, we're going to avoid that, um, just so I can keep it a little bit shorter. Right, so the third topic we did is my family. And to start a family paragraph, maybe I'd say something like, I love my family, because I do. I'm very lucky, and I'm sure you are too. So, ich liebe meine Familie. So that's my kind of introduction to this section. I love my family. I have uh, two sisters, I think. So, i say I have two sisters. Ich habe zwei Schwestern. Um, and they are called, so I can use a plural form of the verb. All my sisters are called, but I think I'll say they are called. So they is Z, and my verb ending for they is EN, so Z heißen, um, let's give them some nice German names, Barbara und Gabi. Uh, now I think perhaps I'm going to describe just one of them. So rather than describe everyone, I'll just describe one. So I'm going to choose Barbara. Barbara is 10 Yara alt, so she's 10 years old. Um, 10 Yara alt. And I want to describe what she looks like. Und, so we'll use nice und. The hat. So I've, we've learned how to say what colour hair, we've learned how to say um, the length and whether it's curly or straight. So I'm going to say my sister has long blonde curly hair. Also sie hat, sie hat lange blonde lockige Haare. Now because I'm quite good at German I'm just going to say like me. And interestingly, you use the word how to say like me. Wie ich. Wie ich. Like me. Okay, uh, what else did we learn? Oh, I haven't said what size she is. So I'm going to say she is uh, very slim. So, um, sie ist uh, sehr schlank. Uh, and then I'm going to say, and she is also very friendly and sporty. Now, also, I'm not sure if we've done, but I'll show you what happens with also. So, she is. Now, also has to go after the verb. Ist is my verb. So, auch, which means also, goes here. Und sie ist auch, um, what did I say? Very friendly. Um... I've used very lots of times, haven't I? Have I used wirklich? I can't remember on the other screen. We'll put a really friendly. So wirklich. Right for me, pen. Right. Wirk. Oh, try again. Wirklich. Freundlich. Uh, und sportlich. Brilliant opportunity to say what her favourite sport is. So my favourite sport is mein Lieblingssport. Her favourite sport is ihr Lieblingssport. Is it definitely ihr? Yes, it is, because sport is masculine. So ihr Lieblingssport ist hockey. Now again, another brilliant uh, opportunity to use a different verb. Uh, and a put different person because it's she and the spielt uh, let's say uh, t she plays twice a week zweimal in der Woche now remember that we've learnt that it is person then the verb then the adverb, unless you're using, using word order two, we'll pop some word order two in in a minute. And sie spielt zweimal in der Woche hockey. That will do. Right, my last paragraph is going to be about my free time. And we'll choose a new slide. 
So, my free time. Now, I haven't really taught you this, but we're going to use it anyway. This is how you say, in my free time. Now, I am going to do a word order two to start this paragraph. And I'm going to say, in my free time, I have lots of hobbies. Now, I can't say, ich habe, because I have put something on the front of my sentence here. So, I've got to swap these two around, and I've got to say, in meiner Freizeit... Habe ich, I've got many hobbies, which is viele hobbies. You don't have to start your sentence like this. You could say, in meiner Freizeit spiele ich gern Fußball. In meiner Freizeit lese ich gern Bücher. Okay, what could we say here? So, in my free time, I've got lots of hobbies. Um, sometimes I ride my bike. Okay, manchmal... Again, it's word order two I'm using. So, manchmal fahre ich Rad. Okay. But, I'm going to use a but. I don't know if I've used a but yet. Sometimes I uh, ride my bike. But, uh, I, uh, let's think. At the weekend, I do something different. So, am Wochenende. Uh... At the weekend, I play football. Okay, am Wochenende spiele ich Fußball. I've used word order two again. Uh, now, I want to ask a question. So I think the best way of me doing that is perhaps saying what my favourite football team is and then saying um, what is your favourite football team. So, um, meine Lieblingsmannschaft... So my favourite team, now it is minor this time, because Mannschaft is feminine. Meine Lieblingsmannschaft ist uh, Bayern München. You may have heard of them, they're a very famous football team. Meine Lieblingsmannschaft ist Bayern München. Was ist deine Lieblingsmannschaft? What a wonderful compound noun. Yep. Okay. Lovely long word. Right. Um, I just want to show you that I can also use a stem change verb. So I'm going to say something else. Um, uh, I Oh, and I haven't used gern either. Now, I also like reading. Now, we've just seen also. Also was auch. It needs to go here before the gern. Ich lese auch gern. Uh, but my sister doesn't like reading. Aber meine Schwester. Now, I can't say laser because it can't end with an E. And something else needs to happen here. Right, so, uh, meine Schwester the stem change. The E changes to IE because I'm referring to she. And there we go. We've got the T on the end. Meine Schwester liest nicht gern. Okay. And that's pretty much it. That's me showing you how I could write a paragraph based on the knowledge that I have. I suggest for your revision, you spend some time looking at all the structures we've learnt then covering it up, giving yourself a few key headings and seeing how much you can uh, look at from memory and then go back to the beginning of this video and kind of go over a checklist. Have you used link words? Have you asked a question? Have you got the correct endings on your verb? So if you've used ich, does it end with e? Few Glück for your test.